Hello everyone, Saturday with Kendra. We're hitting New Year's and we are gonna talk about resolutions and how we make them stick. So a couple things that we need to remember is we need to be specific. All too often we just say generic things, but we really need to be specific. For example, I want to deepen my relationship with God. Well, what does that mean? Or I want to deepen my prayer life. Well, what does that mean? Do you add a rosary every day? Are you adding daily mass? Are you sitting for 30 minutes in mental prayer? I mean, really, what does that specifically mean? What gets measured gets managed. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm not much of a tracker. I'm not much of a journal person, but I think it's really important to look back in January and see what is happening. So what am I doing? Soul mind and body. Number one, soul. I'm continuing with my 5 a.m. prayer, all my Marian devotions, our sorrowful mother devotion, but I'm going to increase my mental prayer time so that I can truly sit in meditation. I feel like I'm doing too much vocal prayer and not enough mental prayer. What am I going to do for my mind? I am going to learn learn more about my body, learn more about how I can exercise and build muscle. That is my focus this year. Muscle, muscle, muscle. I want to be fit and strong. So I'm going to learn how to sculpt this body to be that way, to be strong, to be flexible, to be mobile. By the way, I am trying out something new. I got a cellar sizer, which is a rebounder. It's right here. And we're going to open it up and test it out on the Soul, Mind, and Body group that I'll be jumping to in a moment. But I am so excited. There are so many benefits from rebounding. And I'm getting tired of having it be too cold where I find excuses for me not to get out and move. So that's my body thing. I'm going to make sure that I lift weights three days a week at a minimum. And then with this new equipment that I need like a hole in my head, I am going to rebound and see what the benefits of rebounding are going to do to my lymphatic system, to every cell in my body. I cannot wait. And it's perfect because we are heading into some super cold weather and I don't need another excuse not to do aerobic activity. And last but not least, for my January challenge, I am going to stop coffee. <clears throat> <laughs> and heavy whipping cream. And I think I'm going to stop cheese too. Mm. I am going to continue with butter. So I'm going to journal how I feel. How do I feel when I wake up? How do I feel in the middle of the day? How do I feel at the end of the day? Do I have gurgling or bloating or gas or something like that? Like, or not? I'm really trying to pay attention so that I can learn what truly is good for this body, not just what my mouth wants to taste. Do you know what I'm talking about? And I'm going to try out some new foods. I think I'm going to get into some organ meats. I have some liver in the freezer that's been in there forever that I have to try out. And I'm going to come to you with some keto recipes this year so that you can get out of that rut of eating the same thing if you're trying out the ketogenic diet. All righty, everyone, I'm going to head over to the Soul, Mind, and Body membership group. We're going to open up this cellar sizer, this rebounder, and we're going to talk about the benefits. And I am going to do this for one straight month and come back to you and report the difference in my body. I'm measuring where I am at right now, and I'm going to measure again where I'm at at the end of the month so that we can see what did it do in conjunction with the strength training. I cannot wait. And that's the key, everyone. Let's be specific. Let's measure. Let's not continue to just go down haphazardly without any real plan and without something to look back on to see the progress that we've made. And always with God, always with his grace, his strength, his heart. So we can do this with God. We can do anything with God. I cannot wait to walk with you this 2024. Okay, I'm heading over to the membership group. Join if you'd like. Otherwise, I will see you here next time. Find something more with God. Soul, mind, and body. Let's finally balance that three-legged stool of life. And have a blessed and inspired day. Bye -bye.
fire. 